Hey, what's up all you art geeks out there? Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about artificial intelligence, especially in the art world. It's been taking over social media quite a bit lately, and I noticed that there's a new app on the market that is in its beta that is trying to go the other way, where it's anti-AI, all the art that's on it is non-AI images. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit today while you watch me paint this very recent piece that is essentially done. I think it's done. I just worked on this the last week and I put some final touches on it. So it should be done by the end of this video. There shouldn't be any updates to it, but you never know. Now, just a quick heads up, I do have a Patreon account with a bunch of oil painting tutorials that will help you learn how to oil paint, that will help you create portrait paintings. There's art downloads as well, so check that out. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get over to this subject of artificial intelligence. Now, first off, I'm gonna let you know that I do appreciate artificial intelligence. I think it does something that's very unique, but it really feels hollow in a lot of ways because there's nobody behind it really putting in the effort to create these images. I do like a lot of the video-based stuff, though. I think some of that video-created AI that creates a lot of interesting abstract moments where people will maybe mesh different scenery together. There's a few artists that I follow that just does some really weird creative stuff that I don't think would ever be possible by humans. So on occasion, I do go down that road of checking out some AI. Some imagery is even cool to look at. I saw one artist that actually gave me some inspiration for my own work because of the texture that he was able to sort of fake with AI. And I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive to create those kind of really good thick brush strokes. I haven't seen a lot of AI fake brush strokes as good as this one particular type of AI. I don't know the name of it. I just, I've seen it in my feed and it's pretty cool. So today I just wanna talk a little bit about what's being done lately in the artificial intelligence world. There's a lot of people getting mad about artificial intelligence, stealing people's artwork and then recreating something else based on that, and I totally get that. I think I'd be a bit upset if somebody stole my imagery and did some sort of recreation of new artwork based on those images. I don't think it would cause me to go out and start trying to lawyer up and sue somebody. That's just a waste of effort, in my opinion. But you know, one of the things I think is interesting, and I really wanted to talk about this, is this new app called Cara, C-A-R-A, and it's been making a big splash on Instagram just in the last few days. I've noticed a lot of the artists I follow that do traditional oil paintings, acrylic paintings, you know, old school brush paintings, and they've all been starting accounts on Cara. Now, I went over to Cara, started an account. I only have maybe two images on it right now. But I uploaded a couple images. Each one got a couple likes. I got, I think, a whole total of four followers right now. But it's, so far, it seems like a pretty decent app. It doesn't respond the best. It's still in beta. This is a very early kind of review, I guess, of the car app. But it's in beta. So you have to give it some grace. You have to allow it to grow. I saw a post from the creator of Cara. And she said that they just hit 300,000 new subscribers to their app. And it's in the top five of the app store right now for downloads. It's beating out Twitter or, or X, I guess, as far as downloads go. So it's getting some traction. And I've definitely noticed that over on Instagram that a lot of the people I follow are switching over the app. Now, I went into the app. I checked it out both on my mobile device and on desktop. And it does have a unique feel to it. I really think this could be a potential Instagram killer as far as the art world goes. The one thing that I do find interesting is that it seems like it's geared to only artists, so I'm not sure how many everyday art lovers are gonna go on there and just check it out to look at other people's art. I'm hoping that's the way it goes because from a, say, marketing perspective or a sales perspective, it would be great to have other people on there that are not just artists. Not that artists don't pay for work, not that artists don't buy work, but it'd be nice to get everyday collectors on the app at some point. I'm hoping that's maybe the direction it goes. But for now, it's just really cool to explore a new app, see how it goes. I saw one person that I follow on Instagram already has 5,000 followers. So that was pretty impressive just for being such a new user of the app. Some other things I'm noticing, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at the desktop version. Check out the desktop version. Go to Kara dot app slash explore or just go to the car app i don't know why i said all that but go to the car app and their home page their explore page is really set up in a really cool way now when i look at it the overview let me scroll through some of this and just look at the images so i'm seeing a lot of digital artwork 
not AI artwork, but just digitally painted artwork, which is totally fine. But I'm starting to wonder if people that are more traditional artists that use oil paint and acrylic and watercolors, if they're going to be kind of catching up to all these people that have been in the know about this app for a while. I'm looking at it. Every I do like the layout though. It's got a bunch of just images kind of tiled across the entire desktop, something that Instagram and Facebook really doesn't have going for it is this really nice edge to edge tiled imagery of a bunch of just recent photos and re or recent uh, digital art. And I'm looking through it and I don't think I can see one image that is not digital, which is interesting to me because my feed so far, when I go into my app, it seems like one out of every 10 images is a painting. And maybe that's because I did a couple searches for a certain artist on there and now it knows what I want to look at. So it's giving me a bit of a different customized feed. Some of the other interesting things though that are on this app is there's a blog. Now let's see what's on the blog. Let me check this out. Site status and known issues. So they, you know, because it's in beta, they the first or the last post I see has a place to blog about current known issues and people are having troubles with can'ts. They can't sign up. Profile pictures not saving. AI detection alerts. I guess that must be false positives for AI detection. I'm not really sure how we can detect AI, especially for digital artists, because their work can sometimes feel like it's AI generated in a way no offense to digital artists at all but you know just the tools that ai the way ai creates digital work on its own it does sometimes feel like it could have been created as a digital painting by hand it's a lot easier to fake that than it would be an oil painting now they are getting better at that but there must be some false positive issues with ai detection there's this thing called glaze and i'm still looking into this glaze is temporarily disabled anyway i gotta check that out but it's kind of nice. They have a blog. They're kind of open about their creation, the people that are involved. Let's see if I go about, let's go to the about tab. Let's see what about has here. So car is a social media and portfolio platform for artists with the widespread use of generative AI. We decided to build a place that filters out generative AI images so that people who want to find authentic creatives and artwork can do so easily. I like that. I like the, that's their kind of main push is to do artificial intelligence and then it goes into our stance on ai we do not agree with generative ai tools in their current unethical form okay it's all about ethics that makes sense and we won't host ai generated portfolios unless the rampant ethical and data privacy issues around data sets are resolved via regulation it's kind of like cryptocurrency how things took a while to catch up as far as being regulated and they're still working on that. But I feel like there's a long way to go to get to the point where artificial intelligence generated images are done ethically. I, I guess I didn't realize how much unethicalness was happening until I heard about the car app. So I did a little research on it, but it sounds to me like they're open to having AI on their, on their app. They just don't want to do it now until it's been regulated properly. So who knows, maybe five, 10 years down the road, they'll start letting AI be on the app. But I don't know, I can see that taking a while, maybe it never really happens. It's so hard to regulate something that's sometimes hard to distinguish between an actual hand painted or hand digitally painted image. Even oil paintings now are starting to look more and more real. Now let's see what else we have here about Cara. I'm on the about Cara page. What do we have? Cara Glaze. Oh, learn more about Cara Glaze. Here we go. Learn more. Hi everyone. We are excited to announce the launch of Cara Glaze Beta, the long awaited collaboration between Cara and the Glaze Project. Okay, it's a Glaze Project. Glaze is a tool designed to protect artists from style mimicry by generative AI models. And we are honored to partner with Glaze team to bring this tool to more users in the artist community. Okay, so it's to keep the AI from stealing people's style. That's cool. All right, so I know about that now. What else we got in here? There's a lot of interesting information in this section. There's a job board in Cara to, like it looks like mostly virtual effects companies. You know, VFX, Unreal Engine, 3D artist, software engineer. Okay. Cool. So it makes me wonder though, it makes, when I look at this, it makes me wonder, is this app going to be taken over by digital artists? Maybe that's the whole point is it's going to be more for digital artists. I don't know if people like me, old school oil painter is going to really find a niche 
in this app. That might be the one downside. Maybe we'll just have to let it play out. And one thing I learned though is it's always good to be early in these apps because Instagram, I was way behind. I didn't start using it. I was kind of an anti-social media person for a long time and finally I gave up and started sharing my artwork. But I think being early, you know, there, there was an app called Vero. I don't know if anybody remembers that one, but it just could not handle the traffic and it just went downhill really quick. It's still used, I think, by some people. I think it's only on the Apple iOS system for phones that they, they decided to give up on Android altogether. But being early, that is such an important thing when it comes to these apps so you can get that traction and get the big following. Some of these people on Instagram with millions of followers, they must have, I think most of them, got started pretty early and some others just knew how to hack the algorithm to get it to work for their for their use but yep every everything i'm seeing in the job section is for digital artists some sort of job for that but that's nice that's nice to see that they're doing that all right so i'm now i'm back in the about page the future. Okay, so they have a thing in the future here. We believe that the future of creative industries will involve heavy use of AI, and it's paramount that our governments work to regulate the rampant unethical data usage. Okay, so they're going over the same thing. So I did notice that when they jumped to the 300,000 mark for followers, they had to upgrade their servers. So they're now going to have to pay like $10,000 a month. So in the next month or two, we're going to have to see if they get the funding that they need to keep this going. I'm hoping maybe somebody will invest in their company. That's a big hope that they get the investors they need. That's probably what they're shooting for anyway, but uh, you had to cover that 10,000 a month. They're gonna have to figure out something pretty quick. All right, so here's the, the team. It looks like there's only three people on the team. They have the founder, the senior production engineer, and the full stack engineer. Okay, so they have other people. It's, oh, they have contributors community contributors too. So it looks like they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish people on their entire team doing all this work. You know what? I'm actually pretty impressed. To do what they've done with such a small team is pretty impressive, but boy, they are going to have to ramp up really quick. So, so hopefully this app turns out pretty good. Hopefully it works out for the people in the digital artist space as well as the old school painters like me. But uh, let me know what you think of this car app. I'd love to hear your thoughts. It does run a little slow. It's been getting faster. When I first downloaded it a day ago or two days ago, it completely would not do anything. It was just overwhelmed by the new traffic. But I think they're pretty agile. They were pretty quick to up, do some upgrades, and it actually is keeping up now for the most part. And it seems like it's getting faster and faster. But again, that big bill, 10 grand a month, we'll see how that works out. So let me know what you think in the comments about the car app. Go check it out. I'm all for anything that helps to put a stop to some of this AI-generated unethicalness. I don't really know all the ins and outs. That would be a good video in itself. But uh, thank you all for checking this out. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me paint while I talked about this particular app. Once again, check out my Patreon page if you want to learn more about oil painting, portrait painting. You get art downloads as well. Thank you all again, all you art nerds out there. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.